Hi there, I am Daniel Howell, a regular person like you, wondering who the heck are all these people and why should we be listening to them? Usually Davos is set in some exclusive ski resort, but this year, because of COVID, everybody's doing it at home, sat in their sweatpants. Now though, I've been asked by YouTube to recap the most important things that have happened today. We're in an arms race, except it's not an arms race, it's a race between vaccination and mutation. There are more mutations, there'll be more mutations in the future. Hmm. However, there were problems before the pandemic, and that means there are still some important priorities. 840 million people worldwide are not assured of access to enough food. This number is staggering. Secondly, the various crises the world is faced with, not just COVID, the recession, the climate change, and the biodiversity collapse. Equally as important as responding to the immediate COVID-19 outbreak and the economic crisis is our commitment to pool our wisdom to fight against polarization and inequality in the post-COVID-19 era. Great, so a pandemic, inequality and a climate crisis. Anything else we're dealing with? We have two enemies here, two conflating pressures on us at this moment. It's like the two P's, it's the pandemic and there's populism. And out of the populism is coming this misinformation that's driving agendas that are singular in view. When we see all of this pressure that is happening on the press and then we compound it, there is an information bankruptcy that we're experiencing. That is a complicated problem, but what are people gonna do about it? Well, it turns out the EU has some ideas. <laughs> oh, the EU, wouldn't know about that anymore, would I? The business model of online platforms has an impact, and not only on free and fair competition, but also on our democracies, our security, and on the quality of our information. And that is why we need to contain this immense power of the big digital companies. Uh, I love and unconditionally support all big digital companies and social media platforms. <laughs> Just kidding, yeah. I have some thoughts on how social media impacts society and mental health. Just in case you thought this was all robotic politicians and business leaders, don't worry, actual Iron Man turned up. I am here to accelerate groundbreaking technologies that are addressing this existential crisis and I want to open up access. I want you to feel that and I want you to participate. Wow, is sustainability finally being taken seriously and all it took was an actual superhero? Well, thank you, Robert, for seeing the direction that the world clearly needs to go in in order to save the world from a literal climate apocalypse. Speaking of, we heard from the OG himself. We are now seeing a transition in the political world that may come to match the transition in technologies. We've seen it uh, in renewable electricity uh, generation. We're seeing it in other sectors. And now in the political world, we saw major new commitments by the European Union, by China, by Japan, by South Korea. And now the world appears to be close to a new alignment. Yeah, people should have listened to that guy a while ago. Do you think they're going to now? Are we actually going to have some hope for the future? I might give myself just a little bit to keep me going. If you want to hear what I really think, then check out my panel in which I talked about the impact the pandemic has had on mental health. Otherwise, keep coming back here to this channel to see the best of what is happening within the dialogues in Davos Daily, online, right here on YouTube. Good luck.